What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today I got a high fade for you guys. It's going to be a nice tutorial. Uh, I think the haircut came out really nice. Uh, what I ended up doing was a number four on top and, um, and, and a high fade on the side. So getting straight into this haircut, I always like to go ahead and comb my client's hair out, get a feel for his natural growth pattern right before I go in with the clippers to trim down his hair. So like I said, you guys, I am using a number four guard on my clipper and I am using my Gamma uh, Boosted Clipper. This clipper is great. It's dope. It's just the same. It's exactly the same as the Rebel, I feel like. Uh, just different brand, but it, I mean, at the end of the day, it's pretty much the same brand. But uh, yeah, so I'm going with the grain with the number four guard all the way close, making it a true number four. And I'm always like, I always like to start off in the calic area and then kind of do full strokes all the way to the front. And I'm really keeping really close attention to uh, his uh, wave pattern because I definitely do not want to go across or against the grain because that will leave him with some patches that we definitely do not want. So now getting started with the high fade, I am using my baby list trimmers to go ahead and set in my first initial guideline. And as you guys can see, I am not giving him any hooks on the side. So I'm starting off where the bottom of his uh, corner line starts and then keeping it kind of straight as I'm going to the back. Now you guys might be wondering why I kept this uh, bottom line kind of low. And that's mainly because I really don't have that much room to work with. I only have about, I want to say about two inches or an inch and a half room to just to blend all the way up because I definitely want to end the fade at, at the very top where his head starts to round out, which definitely does not give me that much space. So for my shaver, you guys, I went out and I copped the new Gamma Rebel shaver and it's actually really dope. I, I really actually do like it. I feel like it is better than the Andes Profile Shaver. Then again, it is brand new, but uh, I've been using it for a good solid two weeks now and it's still going super strong and it's super smooth and pretty powerful too. So, But when using the shaver, I definitely don't go all the way to the top. As soon as I get to the top, I like to go with the grain just to help the transition out a little bit more. But I'm going back over to my uh, Gamma Booster Clipper and I'm starting off with the lever at the all the way open position and I'm going up about half an inch to set in my first initial guideline. Now I'm closing the lever all the way and I'm gonna start to blend out the bottom line, flicking up about quarter of an inch. Um, and leaving the bottom line up to the halfway point. Now I'm opening the lever to the halfway position and I'm just really just trying to flick out as much as I can to try to blend in the bottom line as best as I can without touching the very top line. Here I'm continuing the same steps, just moving on to the back section of his head to finish off the bottom part of the fade. Here I'm going back in with my trimmers just to really erase any uh, imperfections that I see that were left either with the trimmers or with the shaver. Alright you guys, so now for the next step, I attach my number one guard to my clipper and once again starting with the lever all the way open, I'm going to be going up about another half an inch. Alright, so now to blend out that middle line right there, I have my half guard starting with the lever at the all the way open position and I'm going to be fading from the top 
to the bottom. So right here with the lever all the way open, I'm just gonna be flicking out just under the very top line. And now I'm closing the lever all the way. And then I'm starting to work out at the very bottom line, just flicking out best as I can, trying to uh, blend it in as much as I can. Now here I'm opening the lever to the halfway position and just really uh, doing some detail work anywhere that I feel uh, still needs that extra detail work. So now here I'm using a little bit of clipper over comb just to help that transition. That way I'm not going in with a bunch of guards and this is basically just going to be saving me a lot of time and really helps me achieve that natural shape that I that I pretty much like. So when I go in with the clipper over comb, I'm kind of just flaring out and just trying to continue on that natural shape, like I said, uh, trying to get almost like that box look. And really my main goal with the clipper over comb is to finish off the blend right at the very top, right where his head starts to round out. Now I have my one and a half guard attached to my clipper and once again, always starting off with the lever at the all the way open position. I'm gonna just be going in right there in the middle section just to start to lighten up um, the very middle because I still feel like it's a little bit too dark. Uh, so I'm gonna be going in with the one and a half and also with my one guard just to lighten it up a little bit. So now to get started on the lineup, I have my one and a half guard attached to my clipper and I'm going with the grain just at the very front just to trim down the hairs a little bit just because you guys know uh, when you have that really thick hairline right there, it's really difficult for your liners uh, to get through the hair and just making it more difficult for them. So by trimming them down, it's going to make the job a lot easier and it's also going to be making the lineup really nice and really crispy. And you guys seen I did spray my client down with some hairspray and dried it really well right before I went in with my trimmers. Um, that way all the hair stay in place and it makes it a lot easier to line up. And for the lineup I always like to go ahead and start off in the middle and go over to one side and kind of finish off one side. That way it makes it easier for, uh, for when I go over to the other side all I really have to do is just match it and just try to get it as straight as I can. Now right here I wanted to lighten up the transition right there from the fade to the top. So I'm grabbing my thinning shears and kind of combing some hairs down just to really uh, debulk a little bit of that area to help out with the transition. I'm also going in with the number three guard uh, and kind of going with the grain uh, right there just on the side once again just to help out that transition and making it a lot smoother. Now to finish the haircut, I am going to be applying a little bit of color enhancement to the lineup just to make it pop and really finalize the entire haircut and just finish off the look. I definitely want my client to come out of the chair feeling extra fresh. So, And also like when he's walking around in public, people are going to be staring at his haircut, wondering where he got his haircut from. And that's your walking billboard. So you definitely want to uh, give it your all. And of course, like... You could do a really nice job without enhancements, which 
my client i don't i don't feel like he necessarily needed it but i want to go above and beyond on each haircut so i want him to be walking around the stores and i want people to be going up to him and wondering where he where, where he got his haircut from so so for me i'm really big on enhancements i i'm a fan of them and i just like to use them But here I'm just going back in with my trimmers just to really finalize the entire look. I did notice a, a little bit of a line at the very bottom. So just using the trimmers just to go ahead and finish off the look. But here you guys go. This is the final look. I hope you guys liked it. I hope you guys learned something new. And if you guys would like to purchase any of the tools and equipment I use in this video, the links will be down in the description down below. Also, don't forget to leave your guys' comments in the comment section. I do read every single one of them. I might not reply to everybody, but I try my best to do so. Uh, but that's it for me this week, you guys. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.